My name is Scarlett Butler and I'm in first year parliamentary at NCAD. Um, so I'm just going to talk through my portfolio. Basically at the start I had just, um, I was kind of looking at like observational drawings, just putting together random objects that interest me, drawing them in loads of different ways, um, like continuous line with your non-dominant hand, that kind of thing, and I just put them together to show that I was kind of just looking at things and experimenting with um, how to um, report them on paper. Um, so then from there I had picked uh, objects that I really like to draw and um, I found kind of like spoke to me somehow and I put them together to make just a still life um, and I got really interested in light bulbs and the concept of light so I started looking into um, loads of different things that go in under the category of light so like how things are distorted in light and all the colours of light so from there I wanted to do something a bit more with the still life so I had kind of distorted it to show in some sort of way how light distorts so like in this uh, picture here the light was being distorted by the reflection so I wanted to kind of mimic that in a big, on a bigger scale um, and yeah just trying to use as many different materials as I can um, so from there I was looking at then like light projecting through different objects and I had kind of used cutouts here to emphasize like shadows and things like that and just collage them together to make something a little different and um, and yeah uh, here these were two completely different pieces so I would really recommend keeping everything even if you think something really isn't good or it's not up to your standards whatever definitely just keep it because by the end of it you might be rummaging around feeling like your portfolio is a little bit empty and you want to fill it up a bit so these were two completely separate ideas and by the end I had kind of connected them and found ways that I could look at them as one piece together. So the colours were kind of matching together. This whole idea of plastic and bubbles was kind of incorporated between the two. So I decided to put those together and make one idea out of that thing. Um, yeah. And then here, this is another kind of experimental page. This is with acrylic inks, which I'd never used before. So. Um, I just kind of played around with them. I would really recommend just playing around and using materials that you've never used before. And like, don't be worried at all if it's something that you haven't used, definitely give it a go because it shows that you're really trying to expand what you use. And yeah, so I decided to include these because um, I just really liked the colors and how they came out. So I just kind of put them together, laid them out, out nicely. And then from there, I had came to a sort of finished piece with that. Um, so this is kind of the finished piece, and I just laid it out with two other kind of practice sheets that I really liked. Um, and all the connection of all this from start to end is kind of explained throughout my notebook. Um, so yeah, then from there, continuing on with the whole light idea and colours of light, I started to use little pieces of like crystal and diamond and passed light through that to try and separate all the colours out from that because I got really interested in colour and distortion through light and all that kind of thing throughout my portfolio. Um, so the same thing there, I had just compiled all those drawings, put them together, done some really detailed like analytical kind of drawings and then others were a little bit messier, kind of trying to get across the whole like colour aspect. Um, and then, yeah, from there I had this um, interesting piece of glass that distorted a picture that I'd taken. Um, and I also would encourage photography, like, uh, doing my portfolio I felt that maybe photography wasn't really enough and it's maybe too easy, but it's not. It's definitely, definitely, if you're into photography and it's something that you like, I would definitely include photos. Like, some of my finished pieces are just a photo that I've taken and I really like them and they're some of my favourite ones. So yeah, I'd encourage including photographs and things like that. Um, yeah, and then towards the end, uh, I was then also looking at different colours of light and I did more of kind of a gestural piece because I felt the rest of them were very, um, like, very much like drawing what I see and I kind of wanted something a little bit more abstract. So I had done this using a gestural piece kind of thing, looking at 
light as well. And then this it was my final piece to finish it off. Um, just kind of looking at distortion again because of how light distort things. Um, so yeah, that was just a very simple way to describe distortion. Um, and yeah. So then going on to my notebook. Um, just from the start, I had kind of taken things like I was very interested in the light bulb, so I started to do sort of little mind maps to describe that. Um, very messy, but I decided to conclude them anyway because I think they're really interesting to look at to see how you kind of think. Um, so yeah, I find it really hard to start my portfolio because I didn't do a PLC or anything, but I really, really encourage just to draw anything like you might. You might really not want to, but just sit down, draw absolutely anything. And then what happened with me, I ended up drawing a light bulb and I really liked the drawing. So I decided to take that further and look more into light bulbs and things like that to me. But I would also recommend including all the things that don't work out because it just kind of shows how you can move on from something when you're set back. So yeah. And I was just kind of looking at the shape of a light bulb and comparing it to other common shapes, like how it was similar to the shape of a head or like the bulb of an onion. Um, and just again, using different materials, trying to emphasize the color I was seeing in, in an object that wasn't very colorful. Um, and also I recommend kind of doing research into things. So I started looking into um, like how light is, is absorbed and reflected and all that kind of stuff. And just making little notes around whenever I could. Um, another idea that didn't work out for me, but still kept it in to try just to... Um, and then I started looking at like magnification, like all that kind of thing. It's how looking through different pieces of glass can distort your view of something. So I've said many times, but I do recommend like trying as much different materials as possible. Um, but yeah, then there's just me looking at reflections in water and things like that, trying to tie in this idea of colour and the bubbles in the water was kind of reminding me of bubble wrap. So I started looking into plastic and different ways that I could distort plastic. So I was just using heat to play with plastic and then also with water because they were kind of similar. So I'd taken a few photos under water um, and just kind of laid them out in the way that I liked in my notebook. Um, yeah, and that's just more ways of trying to recreate that thing that I was seeing in water. And then, yeah, looking at another artist and kind of um, like multiplying my work, well like adding my work to an artist's work and seeing how I could combine our two things together because they were sort of similar ideas. Um, so yeah, that's my notebook. 